A lot of people think that golfs always need to wear black. What it really means to be a golf is really it's a state of mind. Or you appreciate the, the darker thoughts, you appreciate the darker side of life. The darkness is rising and golf is seeing a resurgence. Jenna Ortega went viral with her iconic dance moves in the hit Netflix series Wednesday. The scene spawned many recreations of her moves and fashion style. Here's a beginner's guide to goth. But what is goth? Its roots can be traced back to the early 1980s in the United Kingdom. This dark aesthetic was inspired by post-punk and gothic rock bands at the time, such as The Cure and Bauhaus. Goths dressed primarily in black clothing with heavy eyeliner and pale skin. And back in the 80s, goth involved an ozone layer troubling amount of hairspray. Like whenever people are like, oh you listen to goth music, like oh isn't it metal? It's like no, no, it's nothing like that. It's like more 80s sound, more yeah, the that's, cure. That's a lot of, you know, things like there's that. There's a lot more variance in goth music. And the music is the kind of stuff that we really enjoy. People like your Joy Division, your Depeche Mode, like your the Cure, Cure Susie right? and the Banshees. Susie and the Banshees. Though they may be into dark and introspective music, goths will have you know they are not depressed individuals. Rather, it is about embracing a mindset that goes against the mainstream. Three misconceptions about uh, goth culture is that we all write poetry, we all look the same way, and we all hate life. You know, I can imagine people thinking, you know, we hold like demonic rituals and things. But no, it's honestly people who are in tune with their emotions, getting together, chilling, having a good time. I'm Lisa, I'm 22. I identify as a goth. My style tends to be what I would call a fashion-forward vampire. So I like stuff that's, uh, you know, black-white. I get inspired by um, historical styles, historical pieces quite a bit. I think being goth is actually not entirely about the fashion. Uh, it tends to be more about like the music and the mindset or the spirit of um, the community as a whole. Like this, in a way, sense of cynicism or like fascination with the macabre or like this ennui that we have towards life. Uh, hi, I'm Sky. Uh, I'm a person of counterculture. I've always been kind of gothic. I started when I was 13, I think. As soon as I got to pick my own clothes, people would stare at you on the street. But, you know, you kind of relish in it. Saying that, hey, I am different. I have something more to bring to the table. And I am interesting. <laughs> I, I believe there needs to be a space for the youth to express themselves in a different manner. Like, explore complex emotions, explore alternative identities. And the counterculture is a great place to do that. In Singapore, the goth scene was most active in the mid-2000s at club events hosted by the Singapore Dark Alternative Movement. After dying down around 2015, goth parties are making a comeback. For us at the Bat Cave Project, um, doing small parties and music gatherings like this is a good way to branch out, to reach out to more people because most of the time the way they explore the goth aesthetic is through music. Right, or literature or fashion. See, we can do it like a monthly um, yeah. ongoing thing but, so you know, people actually have a place to yeah. really uh, feel at home in. And for the longest, you know, the only other place I find golfs is like on the internet, internationally over Discord, but now that I've actually discovered the community in Singapore, it's suddenly like and being enveloped in a warm embrace of people that, oh, you feel like you belong with. And that's hard to find in Singapore if you're different.